What's up, love? So today's video is going to be a lace front from ValBest.com. They did send me this 24-inch Remy, I think it's Brazilian hair lace front. It does say 130% density on the website, but I'm really feeling like it's 150. Um, it's long, 24 inches, hunty. It's a nice amount of hair, so I really do believe that it's more than 130%. However, the hairline is a little thicker than most, and I did just take this straight out the package and think that, you know what, I was going to actually like sculpt it, lay it, melt it, you know, make it look natural. But we're going to start off where we always do, which is I'm just going to cut the sides a little bit so that way it fits to perfection, you know, the air tabs or whatever is not flapping in the wind. And of course, as normal, I do use my hair mousse because I'm not really going to tape it on, glue it on, or gel it on. I just think like using hair mousse and some hairspray works great, especially because I have used this method and have actually slept in a wig for like a week using just hair mousse and hairspray. So as you guys see, that hairline is like heady monster or eddy monster thickness, like seriously. This is some thick hair at the beginning. So, I mean, like, you know, we definitely do have to customize all of our units when we first get them, but I really didn't think I would have to do that much work. So that is the reason why I just put it on straight out the box. But as you guys see, she's pretty darn thick um, straight out the box. So you will need to do some customization. So the first thing that I'm going to try and do without having to pre-tweeze this because a girl is trying to just do less and less, so I'm just going to try, you know, try, try, try. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some of these baby hairs because, as you guys seen, it did come with baby hairs, and it was a little bit long. So I'm going to take my brows trimmers, and I'm just going to shed away, trim away, add a little bit of those baby hairs. I don't really like a lot of baby hairs. I am getting accustomed to them, and as you guys know, I do tell you guys I am not the best at doing them. Me and baby hairs, we're not like the best of friends. You know, they do what they want to do, and I do what I want to do. They don't really cooperate with me for the most part, so sometimes I have an issue. So before I even start sculpting, I'm going to use my flat iron comb or my hot comb to try to press down the hair a little bit, make it a little bit flatter in the front. Um, as you guys see, but I'm going to be honest and tell you, this hot comb is not one of my favorites. I'm not like a huge fan of it. I really wish I would have kept the receipt. I would have turned this in a hot flash minute to Walmart. So that's why you see me using my barrel curler. This thing will flat iron and make anything lay flat. And plus you have the option of using it as a curler too. So hey, you have the best of both worlds. So as you guys see, I did put a little bit more mousse on it. And I am trying to flatten it down as best as possible. I am kind of like trying to sculpt these baby hairs. But like I said, the hairline is a little bit too thick for me. Um, maybe for some, they wouldn't mind. But I just really want this to look natural. So I'm going to go ahead and redo it. So as you guys see, I put it back on. And now, as you see, the hairline is a lot thinner in the front. It took me about 30 minutes. But I did go ahead and pre-tweeze the hairline on this unit. It just helped a whole lot because there were hairs all over the place on this unit. Now, trust and believe, for 24 inches, it's only $154.49. Where are you getting a wig of 24 inches for only $154.49? Like, come on, ladies. You're not really getting that much hair for that price. So for the price, it's great. I mean, of course, you will have to customize it and make it your own. But I really believe that any wig that you pay for, regardless of the price, you're going to have to make it your own. So that is what I did. Now, like I said, I only use mousse. And the mousse that I use is actually from the Dollar Tree. And I also use the Pump It Up Hairspray, which is super hold. A lot of you guys like to use the Got To Be Super Fritz Blast or whatever. I've used that probably like six years ago. And it's not one of my favorite hairsprays. It really doesn't freeze and hold. Pump It Up Super Hold will freeze and hold anything. And my wig will stay on for days, hunting. So that's all I ever use. So now that I went ahead and put my scarf down, we're going to go ahead and style this hair, you know, using that curling wand from Irresistible Me. I love this interchangeable wand system. It comes with eight wands. It's amazing. It's everything. And like I said, you can flatten your hair down and style and curl it at the same damn time. This wig is available on their AliExpress store. They do have some remarkable products. I have read their reviews from actual customers. 
and they actually do like their unit. I'm not sure if I got one that seems a little bit thicker than most, but for the most part, I would have customized it anyway, so it was no big deal. You know what I mean? You do get a nice amount of parting space in it, and you get a lot of hair. I honestly believe that this wig is really more than 130% density. Like, I've seen some that's only 130% density, and hunky. They're a lot thinner. So you're getting a nice amount of hair. So what I'm going to use now is just my wax stick just to tame any flyaways at the top. You know, I'm trying to make this look as natural as possible, honey. Okay? As natural as possible. Can bleach the knots if you wanted to. But for me, because this is something quick, I'm going to take my um, setting powder, which is by Lancome, and I'm just going to place that in certain spots that show knots and I'm going to use a small brush. I don't really want the makeup to be all over the place so that's why my brush is thin. To each his own, it's up to you, your preference, how you want to spread the makeup around on your wig. But I'd rather use just a small comb so that way you know a little bit at a time. So to give my hair volume, I always, you know, kind of like press it on the opposite side so that way it's kind of like heightened up, volumed up on the one side a little bit. Now, this looks a lot better than what it did. I mean, like, I don't have an Eddie Monster hairline anymore. It may be a little bit too much baby hairs for most, even for myself. But you know what? I still think it's very acceptable for $150. Okay, girls? Like, seriously, check them out. They got some really great units, and they also always have coupons on their AliExpress website or their AliExpress store. You know what I'm saying? The hair is great. It's soft. It didn't tangle. I like the length of it. You know, I really don't do 24 inches, especially in a wig, because I'm only 5'3". But I do like this one. Like, for 154, girl, when did you get in here? That's 24 inches for $154. So if you want to know the trick to keeping your wig on with just some mousse and actual hairspray, all you need to do is get yourself a good sculpting brush, which is a toothbrush, and you want to go ahead and just trim a little bit of hair for baby hairs. You really don't need a lot. The main key is just to put the mousse down first, okay? And I like the mousse that's a dollar at the Dollar Tree, but it's your preference. And you make sure that you put some on the hairline and a little bit on the front of the lace wig. And this is just the mousse. And go ahead and sculpt your baby hairs. And then once you've done that, you want to make sure you have like a little bit of sideburn, as you guys see right there showing. That will also help it lay a lot flatter and hold it down. And then you want to go ahead and spray it down with your Pump It Up Super Hold Hairspray. After you've done that, make sure that your baby hairs are sculpted down. You can put on your scarf and you can put heat to the unit by just placing your scarf on and then taking your curling barrel or anything that's hot, curling barrel is best, and laying, up, laying it up against the scarf so that way the heat is kind of like going on to, it is going on to the actual unit where you sprayed it with hairspray and mousse, which will dry it and make it adhere. And then every night I just put on a silk scarf like the one in this video and it stays put. And then in the morning I may refresh it or retouch it up just a little bit with hairspray, but for the most part it's good to go. So check out Balbeth and let me know what you think of this hair. This wig is gorgeous for $154 and I really think it's worth it. So I love you guys, stay deep and deep delicious, and I'll see you guys in the soon to come video. Bye!